One of my all-time favorite supervillains has made it into the Fortnite universe. Today, we're drawing Dr. Doom, so grab your pen and paper, and let's go. Let's get started in the center of our page with the top edge of the brow. So we start right in the middle. We're going to start with a point. Now from here, I just want to curve out and up towards the left. So we're going to go out, and then just bend that up. Let's go back to the center and do the same thing on the right. We're going to go out, and then bend that up. Let's round out the side of the eyes. Starting back on the left, just gonna curve this out and then bend that in. Do the same thing on the right. And then from here, we're gonna curve the eye coming in and then up towards the left side of the center. We go in and then bend that up. Let's do the same thing on the right. We're just gonna line this up, curve down and out. Let's add that thick edge of the metal on the outside. From the top, we're gonna step in, just follow the same curve, going around. And then we'll tuck the eyes in underneath the brow. We're gonna start over on the left side, we're gonna draw a half circle. So we come down, and then bend that up, line this up on the right, and do the same thing. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fill the outside of the eyes in black. Now I'm going to go back to the inside and draw the outside edge of the nose. We're going to start from the inside edge of the eye. I'm just going to angle down and then out. Go to the right. I'm just going to spread this out along the bottom. Close off the bottom with a straight line. And then from the bottom corners, we're going to angle up and in towards the middle. Let's go back to the center and draw a straight line going up towards the center of the brow. Let's fill that bottom area of the nose in black. Let's move out to the side and draw the bottom half of the head. We're going to line up at the bottom of the eye, step out towards the left. It's going to draw a large half circle. Coming down, and round out the chin, and go out and up on the right. And then from the side, we're just going to curve up and in towards the top corner of the brow. And we'll angle the inside of the hood going in towards the center. Let's start back on the left. Angle up and in to right about there. Just gonna leave a gap in the center. Line this up on the right. Going out and then down. Let's close off the center with a slight curve. Let's go back to the inside of the eyes and draw a curve. Going up and then out underneath the hood. Now I'm going to go back down and draw the top edge of the mouth. We're going to start back over on the left side. We're going to curve down and then up. And then from the outside, I'm just going to go out and then down towards the bottom of the head. Let's go back to the left side. We're going to draw a straight line going across the bottom of the mouth. Then we'll step down in the center and draw a straight line for the lower lip. Now the chin piece is going to get tucked in underneath the lip. So we're going to gap in the center. Let's go to the left, curve out, and then down. Do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to go back and add some bars inside the mouth. We're going to gap in the center. Let's go to the left side. Draw a straight line coming down. Do the same thing on the right. And then we'll thicken up that bar. Stepping out. Draw another line. Let's add another set of bars on the outside. Drawing two lines side by side. And then we'll fill the areas in between in black. Let's add those openings along the cheeks. From the bottom of the mouth, we're going to step out. We're just going to follow that same curve. Going up and then in to right about there. Do the same thing on the right. Let's round up the inside. So we we'll pull this back out. And we'll angle down and out with a short line, just on the outside of the head. And 
and we'll tuck this back in behind that front line. And down, then in. Let's add a thick edge along the bottom. Stepping up, just tracing that same line. And it'll fill the top area in black. Let's move back out and draw the inside of the hood. We we'll start from the left side. We're gonna follow the same curve, going out and then down. Do the same thing on the right. And then from here, it's gonna curve in and then down towards the center of the body. And in, and then that down. We're gonna leave a gap in the center. Go over towards the right, going up and out. Let's close out the center with a straight line. From left right. Now I'm going to go back up and add in the collar. We start on the left side underneath the head, come down in the middle, and round this out, and go back up on the right. And then from the outside of the collar, I'm just going to curve down and in towards the bottom. Let's fill the outside area in black. Now we're going to draw on the outside of the hood. Let's start from this left point. We're just going to taper this out towards the side. The spacing gets wider as you go out. Do the same thing on the right side. And then we'll round out the bottom, going out and up. We we'll just pull this up and in towards the top. Just follow the same curve the inside of the hood, going up to right about there. And then the top of the head is going to get tucked in behind this fold. So let's start on the left side, go up, bend the head coming in towards the middle. It's going to round out that top point. Rounding this out, go out towards the right, and then just pull that down along the side. Let's add a fold along the center of the hood. Starting back on the left, go up, and then bend that down. Now that we've drawn the face, let's move down and draw on the body. We start by drawing two circles on either side of the collar. Starting on the left, go all the way down towards the bottom of the circle, then back up towards the top, go over towards the right, and draw on that same size circle. And then we'll trace these circles along the inside, just leaving a small, thin strip on the outside. And then from the bottom of the circle, we're going to step out, curve the body, going out and down towards the left hip, and do the same thing on the right. Now from the hips, we're going to move to the center and draw that same size circle. Start from the top of the middle, go all the way down towards the bottom, and back up, and we'll trace this out along the inside. And then from the hips, we're going to curve the bottom of the belt, coming down and in. Let's step up and draw on the top of the belt on that same curve, coming back in towards the buckle. And then we'll add a sharp point on either side of the buckle. Coming down and out, and coming back in. We'll take that and flip it over on the right. I'm also gonna add a seam coming down the center of the body, starting from the middle, and all the way down towards the buckle. Let's draw the outside of the tunic. Starting from the bottom corner of the belt, angle down and out on both sides. And we'll connect the bottom with a curve. Coming down the middle and then back up. And we'll add some detail on the bottom. You need a gap in the center, go to the left side, go straight up, and we'll bend that out. Go to the right, and go up, and then bend this out in the opposite direction. And then from the top of the line, we're gonna step down. And go down and out, and it'll come straight down towards the bottom. 
I'm gonna add a gun holster on the left and a pouch on the right. Let's start from the top of the belt. Start with a short line going out. Just coming down along the side. And then just pull that back in. And then on the right side, from the top and bottom of the belt, draw a short line going out. And we'll connect the ends with a straight line. Let's tuck the legs and feet underneath the tunic. Leave a gap in the center, go to the left side, curve the leg going out and down towards the left heel. Move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right heel. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the left heel, curve the foot. Coming down and then up. And do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to go back to the left side and draw on the top of the foot. We're going to connect the toe to the heel with a curve, almost like a half circle. Going up and then down. And then we'll add a thick sole on the bottom of the feet. We're going to take this curve, step up, and then just trace that across. Now I'm going to add a small oval on the inside of the leg. Let's start from the left side, going up, going down towards the bottom, and back up, and do the same thing on the right. And then from the top of the foot, we're going to step out, draw a straight line going up. Now from here, I'm just gonna go in, just bend that down in behind the oval. Do the same thing on the right. Going up towards the same height, come in, and then bend that down. And then from the outside corner of the boot, we're gonna step in, curve the leg going up and in underneath the tunic. Now we're gonna move back up and draw on the arm. Let's start just underneath the circle on the side of the body. Curve the arm going out and then down towards the wrist. Line this up on the right, we do the same thing. And then from the wrist, we're going to draw a small half circle for the thumb. Come in, and then out. At the end of the thumb, we'll add a bracket. Now before we draw on the fingers and the arm, I'm going to go back up and draw the edge of the cape. Let's start from the side of the circle, I'm going to curve up and then out on either side. And we'll go back down and draw the fingers and the arm coming up underneath the cape. Let's we'll start underneath the thumb from the first finger. Coming down and then up around the bracket. Step down, curve down and up with the second finger. Now the third finger, we're gonna go out, then the arm coming up and then in. We'll leave a little overlap on the outside of the cape. Now going back up to the top of the cape, we're just going to round this out and it comes straight down in behind the arms. Then we'll go back up to the top, curve the cape coming up and in behind the head. Now the cape's going to curve back in behind the arms and then down along the bottom. Let's start underneath the first finger, curve the cape coming down and then out. And we'll connect the ends with a curve going in behind the legs. Let's start from the left, come down and in, same thing on the right, and we'll continue that curve in between the legs. And now we're going to add some detail to the arm. Let's start from the top of the wrist, we're going to curve up and out towards the outside of the arms, and we'll add a plate on the back of the hand. From the wrist, we're going to step down and go down and in, and then go up in behind the wrist. Let's add two small circles on the outside. Start from the left side, and then one more on the right. And we'll do the same thing on the right side. Let's draw an oval on the outside of the arm. So halfway along the side of the arm, so we come down toward the bottom of the oval, up, and then back out. Do the same thing on the right. Up, down, and then up. And from the inside of the oval, curve in and then down towards the inside of the arms. Let's go back to the inside of the oval, step in, just follow the same curve of the arm going up and in behind the cape. And we'll draw some lines along the inside of the arm. We're going to step up, just follow that same curve, coming in, do that one more time. And then we'll do the same thing over on the right. 
And that's pretty much it. There's Dr. Doom from Fortnite. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your request in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.